Teach My Preschooler Green Box Session 2 Alphabet Letter Printing the Second Envelope An Introduction to the Magic Drawing Board. I am Kathleen Walker Henderson and I've been working in education for over 40 years. I am familiar with this product after my granddaughter was born in 2013 and started working with her as an infant toddler with the yellow box 15 to 20 minutes a day and then moved on to the blue box for two to three year olds and a green box followed for ages three and four. My son found an orange box for kindergarten at a thrift store in Klamath Falls. I purchased the others through Amazon. You may have received yours from grant funding with the Early Learning Kindergarten Readiness Partnership, an innovation program as part of Raise Up Oregon, a statewide early learning system plan. This program is helping to prepare you as the child's first teacher for kindergarten and training early childhood providers with kindergarten teachers for smooth transition for children being ready for kindergarten. The materials in the green box promote kindergarten readiness, fine motor skills, hand-eye coordination, parent-child interaction, and self-esteem in just 20 minutes a day. It works well to keep the box separate from other toys and get out for special focus time. Choice, repetition, explore, fun, creativity, developmentally appropriate practice using one envelope at a time keeps it simple. There are small pieces in the green box that should not be used with children under three. I keep a toilet paper roll with my materials to test. If objects can go through the tube, it can get stuck in a small child's throat and is a swallowing hazard. The focus of this video is to introduce the printing letters of the alphabet and number envelope to families using the Teach My Preschool or Green Box. Stop the video if your child is near and have them explore the materials in the envelope that contain the transparent letters. Reasons to write include communication, building fine motor skills, preparing for readiness for kindergarten, and for pleasure. The importance of the alphabet, children's knowledge of letter names and shapes is a strong predictor of their success in learning to read. Knowing letter names is strongly related to the child's ability to remember the forms of written words and their ability to treat words as sequences of letters. Not knowing letter names is related to children's difficulty in learning letter sounds and in recognizing words. Once children can identify and name letters with ease, they can begin to learn letter sounds and spellings. Children appear to acquire alphabetic knowledge in a sequence that begins with letter names, then letter shapes, and finally letter sounds. Children learn letter names by singing songs, such as the alphabet song, and by reciting rhymes. Stop the video and have your child sing or recite the alphabet. See how many letters they can identify as they explore the transparency letters and numbers. Children learn letter shapes by playing with blocks, plastic letters, and alphabet books. Informal but planned instruction in which children have many opportunities to see, play with, and compare letters leads to efficient letter name, learn, name learning. This instruction should include activities in which children learn to identify, name, and write both upper and lowercase versions of each letters, starting with the letters in their names. A catalog search of alphabet books in the Klamath County Library came up with 148 books to choose from and check out. Google Alphabet Songs to reach this collection of counting songs of, of alphabet songs that can be accessed by clicking on them. Netflix is currently hosting Alpha Blocks 91 episodes to help 
reinforce alphabet concepts created by the BBC. Some are available on YouTube. A YouTube search came up with 108,000 possibilities. Some are much better than others. Please preview before in your child. This is one of my favorites. It is chicka chicka boom boom. View this together with your child. Handwriting builds motor skills. Handwriting is an excellent way to develop fine motor skills. Gripping the pencil strengthens the muscles in the hand and fingers while forming the letters improve control over those muscles and creates a stronger bond between the brain and the hands. Of course, small children aren't expected to have fine penmanship, but most preschoolers can start with simple shapes, lines, and tracing letters. Over time, you'll see your child favor one hand over the other. Before writing begins, you can work on strengthening those fine motor skills. For example, stringing Cheerios or noodles on a shoelace or a piece of yarn can improve precision and stability while using tweezers or tongs to pick up small items like pom-poms or raisins and dropping them into a container can strengthen the fingers to grip a pencil more comfortably. Here is a list of other fine motor building activities. Tear paper, cut paper with scissors, paste things onto paper, string beads, macaroni, working with Play-Doh, recipe to make your own, bath time toys, pouring water into other containers, using tweezers or tongs to put something in a bowl or jar, such as cotton balls, cereal pieces, Legos, lacing shoes, clapping hands, touching fingers, button and unbutton, work a zipper, build a tower of 10 blocks, build with other toys, complete puzzles with five or more pieces, manipulate pencils and crayons well enough to color and draw, not necessarily between the lines, blank paper works well, stop this video and do some fine motor activities with your child. Writing helps children learn to read. Writing is considered a multi-sensory activity. Basically, as children write, the hand is communicating with the areas of the brain that process language and as their visual tracking that they are doing, what they are doing. The brain is even more engaging. Children who spend more time working with pen and paper over typing have stronger reading and spelling skills because writing activates the parts of the brain that control the ability to read. National Handwriting Day is observed on January 23rd. It is also the birthday of John Hancock, father of the iconic Declaration of Independence signature. Stop the video and have your child use the magic eraser pad or whiteboard made from a sheet protector and dry erase marker to practice making shapes and lines as a free explore. Printing practice guide. Simple suggestions on how best to use the magic drawing board with the transparencies are given. Encourage proper position of the writing instrument and fine motor skills. With consistent practice, your preschooler can learn to print legibly. Again, take the child's lead on what they are ready for. Make it fun. Stop the video and take time now to see where your child is at with forming letters to their name. Use the letters to spell out their name and begin by tracing those. What is important is that you allow your child to explore, question, and have conversation about letter concepts. As you will see, words are everywhere and a huge part of our everyday lives.